Hello, friends on trains are awesome. I'm Tom. Today we're going to do things a little different than normal. As many of you know, I'm at college in the beautiful American state of Michigan. I mean, Grand Rapids, Michigan, in fact. And um, the thing about Grand Rapids is there's not a lot of trains. The Amtrak leaves at 6 a.m. and that's it. And there is a bus network. It's called the Rapid. And buses go from like different places in town all to Central Station, which is downtown. That's where I'm headed now. Uh, my college is on this road, the East Belt Line, about two miles from a bus stop. So I'm walking to the bus. So uh, as you can see, for the first part, there's not a sidewalk at all. But the, uh, the grass is like wide enough that I'm perfectly safe here. Wore my bad shoes just for this. Traffic's going like 60 miles an hour next to me. Every once in a while you cut across a driveway like this. So uh, the reason I chose today is um, the weather's pretty nice. I'm not wearing gloves. It's above freezing and there's no snow. We all know drivers can't handle snow well, so uh, hopefully today they all stay in their lane. Is it frozen? I don't know, I can't tell. I think it is. Right when you think, oh finally, there's a sidewalk. I wonder what all these drivers are thinking, like who's that weird guy with the red hat walking down the belt line? Sidewalk! Yes! I made it to the magical land of Meyer. For those of you who don't know what Meyer is, one of my favorite places in the world. Long live capitalism. So I uh, quickly bought some candy so I'd have cash for the bus. I just have no idea where the bus leaves. I made it to the bus just in time. I wanted to buy a ticket at Meyer, but the line was too long, so I just got $5 and I got this. This is both my ticket and my change card, so on the way back, I can use this to buy a new ticket. Oh, that's really cool. There's a guy, he missed the bus, but they're letting him on anyways. This is Route 15. So after about five minutes, um, the bus goes off of the belt line and onto, I think this is Leonard Street? Yeah. I remember when I lived in Japan, we would, if we missed the bus, we would run to the next stop and we'd still make it because the stops were so close together. These are not. The bus actually goes really fast. I like it though. I mean, the engine is making noise all the time. There's a lot of interesting people on the bus. Uh, the driver is super nice. Really, really helps all the passengers. Stop 
so that's the bus I just rode. We're at Central Station. This is the bus hub of Grand Rapids. You got all the rapid buses plus the Greyhounds. They all leave from Central Station. So what did I think? I really liked it. Uh, the bus was comfortable. I, I have to say this again, the driver was especially nice. So that was a good experience. Um, yeah, like I said, I, just, I should have done this a lot earlier. So we're kind of far away from downtown. So I'm going to see if there's a uh, Silver Line bus that can take me a little closer to where I want to be. exactly know what this is and what I do know is the buses are green because it's called silver and um, there's a no fare zone so downtown you don't have to pay any money as long as you get on and get off in that no fare zone that's pretty cool And then boom, you're in downtown. I love downtown Grand Rapids. It's that was my first rapid experience. I walked two miles to Meyer. I took the bus to Central Station and then the Silver Line here to uh, Rosa Park Circle. Would I do it again? Yes, totally. Um, the Rapid is a great system. I don't know if it really is an alternative to a car because like I said, my college doesn't have a stop. There's a lot of places where they have a stop. But it's definitely an experience worth trying. I'm going to explore downtown a little bit, take a bus back home, hopefully get a friend to pick me up at Meyer by car. Sorry it was a bus video this time. I promised to upload a couple of uh, American train videos, some videos I took this summer really soon. Uh, you'll see me then. Or you can head over to Instagram right now because Trains Are Awesome has an Instagram page too. It is Trains Are Awesome underscore official. See ya.